pleasure to talk to, to the both of you about this film. As a parent, it was difficult to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, as a parent yourself, was it difficult to film? I'm, it was it was difficult as a human trying to capture this part more than as a parent, I think. I mean, I, I have such a strong feeling for Lucas. I think we have a really close relationship. I, the three of us do, Catherine, Lucas, and I. And so I think once you have that secure and once you have that person sort of in your heart, then it all becomes um, just the truth. She carries uh, the emotional fight of this film as a mother, and as a sister, she carries the emotion of everybody. So how did you, uh, did you approach Ivy? Um, I just approached her as a sister who loves her brother who can't trust him anymore. She just can't trust him, and her mom's fierce love for him is unbounded, and she's not gonna be able to cut that or get in between it. So it's really hard to be on the, the sidelines and not wanna get in the car with her mom to go get her brother. She can't. She has to be like, it's not gonna work. It's, he has to go back. So I just tried to, I wanted her to be relatable to people who have gone through this or have someone who's gone through it, see how it affects them, how strong she is and has to be because her brother's going through something that she can't fully grasp. She can't save him like her mom does, but she tries in her own way. Is it the right impression that this is the kind of film where you have to talk about the characters amongst each other, you know, discuss what they go through, where they are at emotionally throughout the shooting? We did a little bit. We did to start with. I think we all kind of shared with each other where we were going to come from and how we were going to approach. I mean, I think Catherine had just this rock steady position in the family that mm -hmm. everybody's kind of going crazy all around her, and I think yeah, you said she wants to get into the car, but actually you don't because the wise thing is to stay home because he could come home and because the little kids are there and the dad's there and somebody needs to be in this house and have their wits about them. It just shows how much stronger Holly is, that she can do that. I don't think Ivy could have handled it. <laughs> well, together we're perfect. <laughs> together it's, it's great. No, but the dynamic of the family is, is amazing, and I think it was very rightly cast. I mean, you know, Lucas, as, as the son, he's got this whole layer about him that, uh, that makes him such an interesting character as that. Well, and when Lucas met my oldest son, mm -hmm. who has red hair and those big sort of swampy eyes, he was like, oh, this is, this is getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> he just fell right in. And my, my blonde daughter and Catherine oh just fell right in. We were all, it was my pack of five. I went from three to five overnight. <laughs> we're the lucky adopted ones. <laughs> well, I would say that if anything happens to a fingernail of, of my daughters, it just, it's so devastating just the idea of it. Uh, so these kinds of films, do you get to talk to people about going through these things or is it hard to tackle as a subject? I would feel really selfish as an actor to sit down and say, tell me your story. I, I mean, the the good news and the sad news is that there was so much information available to me um, because this is so prevalent and there were so many forums devoted to mothers that deal with addicted children. Mm -hmm. And so I had so many things that I read and so many things that I saw and that I listened to. And, it, you know, there are podcasts, there are documentaries. I mean, there came a point where I was so saturated with it that I had to just stop. Yeah, there was a point where I like felt like I was physically gonna get sick before we started. I watched yeah. a documentary. I was like, I can't, I can't watch it. But it helps. You have to go through that. Yes, you have to go through it. You have to be in in, in the vibe emotionally, I guess, uh, for, for for this type of film. How long was the shoot, and how important was it that it was a little bit of a time capsule, uh, pressure cooker kind of thing because mm -hmm. it echoes the story? Yeah, they took us far away from everyone mm -hmm. in the dark of night. It was absolutely freezing mm -hmm. and we really only had each other it was structured very cleverly in that way how long did we shoot we shot for it was pretty quick yeah eight weeks maybe like mm -hmm. just I feel like we kind of shot in order to in the house we like did. as much as possible yeah we did start in the house and then moved our way into the dark of night <laughs> and just Lucas and I out in the ice cold in the ice cold yeah uh, at, at this point of your career, uh, what are the most important elements for you to accept, you know, movies like that? Because you have so much choice and you want to choose things that speak to you. Is that important? It, uh, well, I just have this internal compass and I read a script and I, mm -hmm. when I finish it, I know, yep, 
I want to do that yeah. or I don't. And so that's what I've based my choices on for 30 years, Catherine. Whoa. Longer than you've been alive. Wow. Wow. How that's was it meeting her the first time? I mean, well, the, the, that's my the first time I met her was in her own home. <laughs> she had us all over her home and welcomed us. Just a big hug. It was just like, oh, hello, welcome to my house. Come on in. I'm making food. So I felt like I was at home immediately with her. So it really made a big difference. <laughs> Can we quickly play the favorite Julia Roberts film together? Oh, start. okay. Well, um, Pretty Woman, um, mm -hmm. Aaron Brockovich. Should I, do I need to just? No, no don't, don't, you don't stop. have to rattle them off. Okay. My best friend's wedding. Oh my there. gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a good one. That one's so good. <laughs> it's so, so good. I love that. And what about you, your favorite film? The Mexican. <gasps> yeah, that's a good one. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Roller coaster with Brad Pitt? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. 